Hi everybody, Foxy here again with another episode of Foxy's Apocalyptic Kitchen. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make mirepoix. And that is a aromatic flavor base that comes from European cooking. Uh, mirepoix is from like the fancy French cooking side. It's when you take carrots and celery and onions um, and you kind of like slow simmer them in butter to bring out the flavors um, without browning them or really cooking them. Well, you're cooking them. Um, this is in all sorts of recipes from soups to stews to meat dishes, um, pasta sauces, and it's the kind of thing you'll find in a recipe book. It'll say carrots, celery, onions. Um, what I'm going to do today, because I like to get these frozen and then just put them in a thing, um, but they were out because of quarantine. Um, so I'm like resigned to making it myself, which is good because I get to show you um, not really tons. This is going to be a super short video. I'm going to show you this. And then I'm not going to show you the part where I'm cutting onions. And then I'm going to show you the part where it's pretty much done. Um, I think I'm actually going to use a food processor for this. I'm doing quite a bit of um, vegetable matter here. The ratio for mirepoix is supposed to be 2 to 1 to 1 for the onion. So 2, onion, two parts onion to 1 part carrot to 1 part celery. Um, what else can I say? Make sure you wash your veggies. Um, what you're going to need for a mirepoix project, lots of celery, lots of carrots, twice as many onions. I don't think I got my ratio perfect, but hey, whatever. Um, and I got some freezer bags here because I'm going to bag and freeze it. Uh, this is one of those prep projects. Like I can do all of this and this is probably like a mm, couple months of my own cooking <laughs> worth of, um, veggie base, which is fantastic. Cool. I'm going to turn this all off. I'm going to come back when this is processed. And now you know. Um, yeah, we're going to be seeing this a lot in some of my future cookings. Okay, welcome back to Foxy's Apocalyptic Kitchen, where I've been making mirepoix, uh, which is a French aromatic base made up of onions, carrots, and celery. Um, I'm finished processing. I have some thoughts. I'm um, just going to put this away. So I've got here my bagged mirepoix. If you are a classically trained French chef looking at this and cringing, number one, my chef's knife is broken. Number two, I did it in a food processor because I had a lot to process. Um, I have a lot to process. Um, and number three, this is Foxy's Apocalyptic Kitchen, and I just don't give a fuck. I make tasty food out of whatever I can find in the wastelands, and it's not always going to look pretty. Fancy French cooking convention-y thingies. Here you can see I've got six more or less evenly sized bags of processed vegetables, mirepoix. Um, I should have bought more onions. I have some leftover veggies. I'm going to pickle those carrots probably, and I don't know what I'm going to do with that celery. Maybe feed it to the crows or the raccoons or something. Um, or make a salad. Um, <clears throat> always get more onions than you need for this one. Um, also, don't do your makeup and then cut onions, because I don't know what I was thinking, but I look pretty or dead at the start of this video. Um, and the last thing you can use, so these are the tips and the ends of my celery. So that is also going to go in the freezer. This is going to be turned into a veggie stock at some point. Really, you're looking at something a little bit less processed than this, like diced as opposed to minced. Um, but here we are. This is still going to work. This is going to be fine for the soups and sauces that I use it for. It's just going to cook a little faster than uh, uh, less finely processed product. Um, anyhow, that's Mirepoix on Foxy's Apocalyptic Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the show. I'll be back with some longer videos with some more intense cooking using my Mirepoix coming up in the next few weeks. Until then, thanks for watching. If you would like to support the show, like, share, subscribe down at the bottom there. Um, and you can support me directly either through Patreon, like these wonderful people,
at patreon.com slash foctails, or you can buy me a coffee at coffee.com slash foxtails. Catch you next time. Bye!